Get ready to make your choice. Allies of Ether versus Byleth. I got to say, you two are quite calm. Unlike the last two matches. I heard. Wario and Sephiroth are capable of opening dimensions? Hey, Claren. How do I look? With your eyes. Oh. Ugh. That's horrifying. Win or lose, neither of us are going to sleep well tonight with those two teams being our next opponents. Oh, oh, uh, <coughs> uh, my apologies, darlings. Welcome to the halfway point of winner's round one. Today, we have Byleth up against Allies of Ether, a duo of Claren and Eliana. Speaking of Eliana, where is she? <laughs> Must have run off somewhere. Oh, please. I'm sure she'll show up. Then again, I haven't seen her in days. Hmm. It's not like her to run off. Didn't she say she had some sort of dream? Exactly what dream did she have? It was something about a boat to an island? Maybe we should stay away from going overseas? I keep telling her it's okay to ask me, but she keeps everything to herself. This really isn't like her at all. Uh, Byleth, honey, what do you mean by... Um, avoiding... Often at times, dreams can be warnings of the future. Anyways, uh, this fight. How do we settle this anyways? Actual combat? I thought today that we could bring in a special guest over. You know, to help us with events. Hello everyone, my name is Ultra Instinct Skepta. I like eating Subway footlongs and fighting cosmic deities. My current record of power that I've ever used to do something was 15% of my power, and I don't remember using that much power. I'm, hmm. You know, this is a little embarrassing. I don't really do a lot of introductions. It's okay, darling. We, uh, we know you don't like to talk much. Actions speak louder than words. Amen, amen. Now, if you excuse me, you two, allow me to give you a brief rundown of why I'm here. From here on out, I'll be taking everyone's fights elsewhere, and I don't even have to use 1% of my power. Thanks, but no thanks. I'd rather have Wario World than that. Despite the danger he pulls, at least we're not being thrown into who knows where. I'll temporarily take you two to a dimension where you have something both in common. Ready? Do we have to fight up there? <laughs> well, I have to be honest with you, Byleth. Nah, man. You can do whatever you want. From rap battles to repeatedly pummeling your bloody fist into each other. Go ahead. Uh, hmm. Not sure beating up a woman is going to sound great when I come back. Then again, everyone in Smash is consensual sparring. <laughs> don't underestimate me because I'm a woman. Seriously, don't. You'll regret it. Alright, man. Men. Women. Ah, no. Forget it. Let's all battle with honor. After all, I am the honored one. Imaginary technique! Purple! Ah. <laughs> uh, nothing happened. Mm hmm? Skeptile, darling! What did you do? I transferred their souls into a temporary world! It's kinda like dreaming, but you're not really asleep. Is it okay to do that? Well, I use this method to meditate. 
And because it's their first time, they will go insane. What do you mean by that? Uh, uh. Hmm? Huh? What the? Where am I? Huh? Oh, I guess the Ultra guy is just getting the world set up for us, huh? Hmm. Looks like it's gonna take a while. Claren? Claren? I guess I'll just wait here. I guess, I guess I'll, I'll just, just wait, wait here. here. I guess I'll just wait here. I guess I'll just wait here. I gotta get out of here. Welcome to Eater High, Byleth. So, how do you know this place? Are you like some sort of... Alumni here? In another world, I'm actually a student. Ah, yes, I, uh... Wait, I thought you were a time traveler. Well... Why are we on school grounds? Is it because I'm a professor? Also, how was the void while our stage was loading? I learned that during my time, I could bend physics, like walking on a wall. Huh, that's interesting. I went running from left to right, over and over, until there were multiple variations of me. And I fell. Well, that's not great. So now what? Hmm, I wonder how everything is back home. Hmm. Speaking of slang! If most people are called blood these days, like, shit, should I be called long blood? I mean, no one says long boy these days. Hmm, this channel doesn't really do modern content stuff, so I'm sure everyone would love to just call you the way you are. Ah, uh, okay, I just want to hear your opinion. Also, another opinion. Sure. Would you like to draw on their face? Hmm, very tempting. Yeah, I'm sure everyone is fine. Say, you are a sword wielder too, right? Yes, I come from a doomed future. That, that explains the sword you brought in earlier. It's so, I guess futuristic? And your sword is all... Bones? What monster did you rip them from? It's a very, very long story, but I could discuss it now. It's pretty long. Nope, I don't mind it at all. Well? I think I regret asking you that. Easy for you to say. Your story is ripped straight from Lucina. Excuse me? Just because this Lucina person happens to share the same background as me, it doesn't mean you can call me a ripoff. Well, in that case, 
Perhaps a sword fight can handle this? Yes. On guard, Professor. Uh... Um... What is it, Professor? I did not bring my sword with me. Neither did I. So, I guess we're just gonna be stuck here, I guess? Mm-hmm. <sighs> what the? Byleth, we're... Uh, it seems that we're currently fading. In fact, the entire background is starting to change as well. It looks like this dimension is ending. I guess our time here is up. It was a good fight. But we never got to fight at all. Oh, okay then. <laughs> oh, Byleth and Claren, you're awake. Now, uh, don't get mad, but... Uh, why does my mouth taste like ink? Uh, don't be mad, but, uh, we drew on your face. Get ready to make your choice. Allies of Ether versus Bile. Uh... 